Ever wondered how Transformers, the silent heroes of our electrical systems, are protected? Why is this protection so crucial? Well, the primary goal of Transformer protection is to identify abnormal conditions and safeguard the Transformer from both internal and external faults. This is particularly vital for through faults which can cause significant damage. These protective measures are like the guardians of the Transformer, ensuring it operates smoothly and efficiently. Now that we understand the importance of transformer protection, it's time to delve into the different types. Firstly, we have overcurrent and earth fault protection, which acts as a primary or backup protection. This protection kicks into action when the current in any phase crosses the preset maximum value. It's like an electrical watchdog, always on the lookout for any abnormalities. Its types include instantaneous overcurrent, inverse time overcurrent, ground fault instantaneous, and time ground fault. Each type plays a unique role in guarding against different scenarios of electrical faults. This protection ensures that any excessive current is detected and dealt with promptly. Next up, we have under impedance, differential, and restricted earth fault protection. Let's start with under impedance or distance relay protection. This becomes crucial when there is a significant difference between the maximum and minimum short circuit fault MVA. This protection is particularly preferable for transformers connected to networks. Moving on to differential current protection. This type of protection involves relays that compare phase currents on either side of the transformer. If the differential current surpasses the set limit, the relay sends an operating signal. This safeguards the transformer from winding short circuit faults and interturn faults. Lastly, we have restricted earth fault or REF protection. While differential protection covers about 80% of the winding, REF handles the remaining protection. It protects the transformer winding from earth faults, specifically in the zone between the transformer star side winding and its earthed neutral terminal. These protections are crucial for detecting imbalances and earth faults in transformers. Now let's discuss overload, overfluxing, and overvoltage protection. Three-phase overload protection is a function of thermal overcurrent relays, which protect against possible damage during overload conditions. These relays utilize the transformer's thermal time constant and the maximum allowable continuous overload current in an inverse time characteristic. Next, we have overfluxing protection. Overfluxing, or overexcitation, can cause overheating and core saturation to the transformer. This is where an overexcitation relay comes in handy, preventing transformers from operating at excessively high voltage or too low frequency. Finally, overvoltage. Protection is a significant player in the transformer protection scheme. Over and under voltage protection relays stand guard against abnormal phase voltage conditions. These protections work together, ensuring that the transformer is safe from potential overloading and voltage issues, maintaining the integrity of the system and prolonging the life of the transformer. These protections ensure that the transformer is safe from potential overloading and voltage issues. Moving on to mechanical protection, which involves oil temperature trip relay, winding temperature trip relay, pressure relief valve, and Buchholz relay. Let's start with the oil temperature trip relay. This device monitors the oil temperature, acting swiftly when it detects an increase beyond a predetermined value, typically a sign of an internal fault. Next up is the winding temperature trip relay. This relay functions much like the oil temperature trip relay, but instead it keeps a vigilant eye on the winding temperature. It takes action when the temperature spikes beyond a set limit, ensuring the transformer is de-energized to prevent potential damage. The pressure relief valve installed directly on the transformer plays a crucial role in preventing tank explosions. It does this by releasing internal pressure when it surpasses a preset limit. Lastly, we have the Buchholz relay, a gas actuated device which detects faults by monitoring gas accumulation in the transformer. This relay serves as an alarm or trip element depending on the volume of gas or the speed of oil loss. 
Mechanical protections are essential to prevent potential physical damage to the transformer. As we wrap up, it's clear that transformer protection is a comprehensive system. It's a vital component in our electrical infrastructure designed to detect and counteract faults, both internal and external. It's a robust combination of electrical and mechanical protections, each meticulously crafted to serve a specific purpose. We discussed overcurrent and earth fault protection under impedance, differential and restricted earth fault protection, all critical in safeguarding transformers from various types of electrical faults. Overload, overfluxing and overvoltage protections prevent damage due to irregularities in current, flux and voltage respectively. On the mechanical side, oil and winding temperature trip relays, pressure relief valves and Buchholz relays ensure optimal operating conditions within the transformer, protecting it from potentially catastrophic mechanical failures. In essence, every single component of transformer protection contributes to the longevity and efficiency of our power systems. Remember, transformer protection isn't just about safeguarding a piece of equipment. It's about ensuring the continuity and safety of our electrical systems. In this detailed journey, we've uncovered the complexities of electrical and mechanical safeguards, ensuring the resilience and reliability of transformers. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more in-depth content. Thank you for joining us on this exploration.